I love NVM. How's it going, Sean? You're right. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Okay. So you want to do exhaust development on the M3? Yeah, let's get it done. Welcome back guys to another video on the GAT M3. As you probably heard from that phone call, one of our suppliers has requested the car for more exhaust development. So we're gonna give you guys another option for an exhaust system on the GAT M3. So we put the stock exhaust system back on the vehicle. It does actually sound pretty decent. It's very difficult to extract more noise from a GPF equipped vehicle. And this is the M3 competition with the GPF. And if you haven't seen our video, I'll put a link up there to our Dyna results and the data log session that we did on this vehicle. The actual exhaust tips themselves are just 80 mil in diameter. And the previous exhaust that was on there was slightly bigger. Let's see what this supplier does. some refreshments it's not easy doing this by the way guys i'll tell you something i'd rather be in the back seat of this the front seat is a pain to get in and out of still so any of you guys looking for a job you want to show for me around in the m3 send us your cv leave the link below So here we are, Scorpion headquarters. Let's go see the guys. <laughs> I need a toilet. Scorpion headquarters in Derby. We've been working with Scorpion for over 12 years now and the reason being is because every car we get, they develop an exhaust on there for you guys out there. We're with Alan, who's R&D manager here. Uh, he's gonna talk us through what exhaust system we're going for and what sort of tips we're gonna do. So, Hi. Alan, Hi, don't wanna put you on the, on the spot, <laughs> but yeah, so what are we planning for this? As, um, as you said, thank you for lending us your car. It's great to have you here and be involved in you yet again on another car. Wicked. Um, so what we're aiming for with this car is to release a bit of the sound from it yep. and retain the vowels, the original options. Okay. Um, get our fantastic Cascari carbon trims on there as well. That's going to be mint. What sort of size are you thinking? Well, we're going to look at the latest one we've got, 115 mil. Which is four and a half so inch. So four and a half inch. That's including the shroud. In, it's the outer tip of the shroud of the yeah, carbon. Yeah. So it's all made in house. Okay. Um, it's the latest one we've just developed. We've had the 100 mils for a while. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to look fantastic on the black car. I so think it will. I we'll think. We'll have a quick look yeah. in a second because I've got a couple of demonstration models. Have so you? We can have a look at that. We can yeah. put it up next to the car and have a look. Yeah. Um, in terms of the sound, obviously the OPF cars are completely silent, aren't they? This exhaust has opened up over the last couple of miles, so I, do, I don't know if it's kind of soft air orientated or yeah. the actual exhaust getting coked up, but I think um, one of the key points is probably getting a system to work with the OE valves and also having it to sound quiet as a well. Nice sound, around. yeah, definitely, yeah. Well, I mean, that's what we'll aim for. Obviously, okay. we've not started the development yet, but we'll yep. get on it. Our intention of Scorpion Exhaust is to create an exhaust that sounds fantastic but also you don't you want to get in the car and, and not enjoy have a drone it. and yeah. all the rest of it but you can enjoy it and actually feel it i think that's key because at the moment there ain't many options out there on the market and it's you know it's key to kind of get the development done as soon as we can so that we can give some options for you guys out there obviously it'd be nice to get a system on our as well turbo back with downpipes and gpf <laughs> yeah. off etc and tune yeah. the hell out of it but those yeah. options aren't available at this moment in time so we'll see how we get on but yeah let's have a look at some yeah tips. okay good 
So that's the new Ascari tips. 115 mil, four and a half inch external. Um, the inside is about 4.25. It's about yeah, 100 it's mil. Easy, yeah. Yeah. So, so it's, it's a nice looking tip. Obviously we fit these tips on majority of the aftermarket Scorpion range, so M135 eyes, 240 eyes, even the new VAG range as well, in a slightly smaller version. So it'll be interesting to see what this looks like on a GATM3. So what do you reckon are the tips on the car? It's definitely got to be the Ascari. Yes. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's the, uh, the first ones from production that we'll be putting on your car. Beautiful. So off we tell you can get an idea size. Oh, well. Even the weave matches the rear oh, diffuser. It's, it's designed for this car. Oh wow, well, it's amazing. <laughs> We've been waiting for you just for these. <laughs> oh man, I feel special. Yeah. Wicked. Thank so, you. I don't know if you guys know, but obviously Scorpion have been working on BMW since 1987, since the E30 325i, Sean's M3 E92. It did have a Scorpion exhaust on there, but he's now put it into storage and it is absolutely beautiful. But you can see the size difference. The E92 in comparison, it's a two-door coupe, in comparison to the G80 M3, absolute madness. Thanks again. Look after the car. No problem, we will do. I do need to get back in something. I don't know what you've got to give us back, but... Um, uh, we've just got a Golf GTI. Oh, Mark nice. Mark 8, so enjoy. Nice, I ain't driven one, so it'd be interesting to give you guys a little review on this Mark 8 GTI. much easier getting in a Golf in comparison to the M3 but yeah it's a Mark 8 GTI DSG with a Scorpion catback exhaust on there so I'll do a little review for you guys So the Mark 8 GTI comes out of the factory with 240 brake horsepower, 280 pounds per feet of torque. Coupled to the seven speed DSG, it is a lot different to the old Mark 7 GTI in terms of its turbocharger, its ancillaries, and also the engine internals itself. In terms of the ECU structure, it has still got a lock on there, so there's no way of accessing it to kind of tune it or see the potential of it. There are aftermarket ECUs you can purchase for it to increase power to about 320, 330 brake horsepower. The turbocharger itself is made by Continental now, the same company that makes the ECU. So in all honesty, it should be a better marriage of turbocharger and ECU control. So the interior on the Mark 8 GTI has a lot more gadgets than what we've seen in the previous. It's fully touchscreen and it's got a little paddle for the gear selector rather than a massive gear knob and selection itself. It has got these shifters on the on the actual steering wheel as well. So it's nice and easy to use when you're giving it some on the road. So no doubt one of the biggest concerns with all new petrol vehicles is the GPF and all of them come with a petrol particle filter or a gasoline particle filter. And that restricts overall noise from the vehicle, especially from the exhaust. But Scorpion have fitted a resonated catback system to this with polished Daytona trims. And I think it suits the back end beautifully. So as all GTIs, they're intended to be used on a daily basis in the most fun way. And I think this market GTI does it really well. Driving down the country roads, the ESC system works perfectly. You can flick it into sports mode and it does liven up the throttle response and add a bit of overboost too. The steering wheel is nice and chunky, nice to hold. And the gear shift paddles are like any DSG. They're instantaneous with no lag itself. One of the beauties of this cockpit has to be the touchscreen, full electric touchscreen with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay embedded too. The actual driver display unit can be fully customized so you can go from you know, your eco settings to see everything and down to a sport setting where it just shows you the power, torque, boost and the G sensor through the clock. So no doubt this is gonna be a fun car at the track too. 
The actual seats themselves are beautifully constructed, hold you well in position and finish in the classic GTI tartan fabric. Now that car was a bit of fun, but I do miss my G80. So let's have a quick sneak peek before they come. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Going there, then you are. Yeah, good, thank you. I'm blown away. Are you happy? Beautiful. The actual weave on the carbon fiber matches the original it diffuser. Perfect. It fits perfectly. The size, the way it sits in. Oh, mate, it's really nice. Splendid. So what we've done yeah. is from the centre silence to back, so the original fitment point um, yeah. back, we've kept it at 70 mil. Okay. So we haven't gone oversized. Two reasons, fitment and the flow of the system works really well at 70 mil. Yeah, what I did find, if you do go bigger, it does restrict a bit of power at part of bottle and yeah. you feel that bit of lag. So kind of keeping it the same board, definitely. The idea is to keep the flow. Yeah, yeah. Keep it all going. We come back and then you've got the Y pieces with the um, original type valve. So yeah. uh, we've got our valve in there. So when the valve opens, it bypasses the silencer straight out the back. Beautiful. Um, close the valve and it goes into a specially designed silencer, which is actually um, a crossover. Ah, so, okay. So that one goes um, into there and comes out so there. The, the twist is so there's bent curves in, purse in there. Yeah. So it crosses over and then out the back. So you don't get any drone with this kind of setup? No drone whatsoever. Um, yeah. It sounds perfect, it really does sound nice. And actual Y piece as well for flow? It's a, a true Y piece. It, it is all designed as for where we put the Y pieces and everything else, so the actual flow is continual. Beautiful. How does it sound? Really good. Let's drop it down, let's have a look. Let's have a listen. Alan, I've got to say, that sound is absolutely beautiful. It does sound good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's very difficult, as you know, from a GPM vehicle to extract any noise, let alone noise like that. I mean, let me know in the comments what you think of the noise and how it sounds in comfort and sport that you heard there. Alan, I'll be catching you in a couple of weeks when we do further development on this and I'll keep you up to date as to what we're doing in Never. terms of programming and tuning. But yeah, I'm absolutely blown back by how that looks. I think it looks original. I think it's brilliant. Really should have come like that from the factory. Uh, I think so as well. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so there's your key. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll see you in two weeks. Yeah, hopefully you've got something a bit better than a Mark 8. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> it, was an, it was an amazing car. I've done a little review for you as well. Have you? So, have a look on YouTube that, yeah. and listen to it. But yeah, hope you guys like that video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we've got more content coming on this GATM3 soon.